Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showcasing a plugin called Server Essentials. Basically, in a short, it's a useful plugin that you need to get your server, like one of the first plugins that you must have on it. It's really easy, easy to use and I'm going to showcase the commands this plugin has currently. And for every command, this plugin has a command file, but I'm not going to note that command file or permission. Yeah, permission one, and I'm going to not be showcasing the permissions today. And you can see the permissions from the original post on Bucket. So let's start with slash as reload. It's going to reload the config file for the plugin, like so, that you don't need to reload every plugin if you did some config file changes on the server essentials plugin. If I do slash as version it's going to show the version that I'm using of the plugin currently. If I do slash se, it's going to display all the comments that this plugin currently has on the chat. And if I do slash discord, it's going to paste a link that uh, you have put after the discord comment on the config files. But if you haven't changed it at all, it's just going to say a discord command. And slash website basically the same thing, but with a little, little bit different command, which is slash website. <laughs> and if I do slash rules, it's going to paste the rules.iml file again. You can edit that too in the plugin config files. And you can add some lines or remove some lines or write something else up there. If I do slash playtime, it's going to showcase the playtime that I have played on the server currently. And if I do slash playtime space name, uh, it's going to display the total playtime from the target player, but that doesn't work because I'm currently the only player on this server, and there has been no other players even online on this server. If I do slash heart, it's going to take a number of value of my hearts away. If I do like heart my name one, I just lost half a heart, but if I do slash heart space pondex space 10, I just lost half of my hearts. If I do slash set spawn, I set the spawn point to this block because I'm standing on it. If I would be standing on between two blocks, it's between these two blocks to spawn. Now if I want to get to the spawn, I just do slash spawn. Now I teleport it up here. And if I don't like the spawn point being up there, I just do slash delete spawn like so. So we don't have no longer spawn up here. And if I don't want any other place to see that I joined the server, I just do slash se space silent join. It's going to take the joining message off from you if you want to pack it on. Just write that again in the chat. And slash set home, home one. So basically now you put your home one up there. And if you want to get back to your home, you just need to go home space home one, like so. Um, home space name, yeah, it's teleports to the, the home player name. You are going to teleport to this player's house who name you, but the, the, like if it's me and I'm a somewhat a player and I want to get to my home to see if everything is okay, I would do like this. And list homes, space target is going to list the target. It's players homes and if you do slash home it's going to list your homes as you see my homes are home home one and one and if i want to delete a home it deletes a specific name from i do slash delete home let's say i don't like the one so now the home has been deleted and let's see if it actually deleted let's do slash home and now we see there's no home one anymore like this one i mean there's home one but not the one if you understood so send home space target space home name. Basically, you're going to send uh, the target player to home the, the home name you're putting up there. Slash so teleport. It's a false teleport command. If there's any other player I want to teleport, like say that horse up there, I just do slash so teleport and his or her name is horse. Like this, I would just teleport up there without asking. Saying our internal internal accurate as something that for this command. The error is basically because I'm the only player on the server currently, so it, it's not going to work. And slash tp here is going to teleport the horse up here, 
without him, uh, without us, uh, without us even asking him or her, and slash tpl, it's going to teleport every player who's online on the server to you. And let's see, slash teleport pos, it's going to teleport you to the certain coordinates, like, let's say, zero, zero, zero. You're going to teleport x, y, z. All of them are zero, so basically it would fall down because that's under the bedrock on this overworld thingy. And if I do slash TPA, it's going to uh, send a teleport request for the person that I'm teleporting. It's basically slash TPA space the person that you want to teleport to. But I cannot showcase that very well because I'm the only player. But if you don't want that teleport request to go through, or you write someone other player's name, just to slash tpa cancel and it's going to cancel the tpa request but if you are the one who's receiving the teleport request just do slash tpa accept and it's going to accept the request and the other player is going to teleport to you slash tpa here you are going to request someone to teleport to you basically tpa accept tpa cancel and tp deny works for that is it tp deny or tpa oh it's tp deny okay and it's going to deny a teleport request that TP deny. If you're re receiving cause you can cancel them, like TP cancel, you just need to type slash TP deny. <coughs> and there's the TP toggle. It's basically if you want to receive any teleport request or not. Just write slash TP toggle and you're not going to receive any TP request from every and no one. And slash heal, basically you guys can see now I'm full health. It's going to just heal the target to full health. You can use the command to just heal and a name basically. And slash feed is going to feed the hunger bar. As you see, slash announce is going to announce a message to the whole server. Let's say message like so. And now we have just announced a message to the whole server. Slash NFC, you're going to open a target's inventory and you can manage that. Like NFC, Bondank, it's not going to work for me because I'm the only player and you're going to see your own inventory that way. Slash game modes, I think everybody knows this, so I'm not going to showcase them. Slash fly, you are going to get a flight mode on. And off. And slash skill space name. And let's do six one up here and demonstrate the command. Basically it's like that. Now I killed myself, but if there's another player and he's hacking or something like that and you cannot do anything about that, just this is a useful command for that. So let's go back. And slash message space name. Basically if somebody wants to message me privately in the game. They can use this command, and if I don't want to type slash message space day name to message them back, I can just do slash reply space to message that I'm sending them to reply to the last person who messaged you. It's really useful. Uh, message toggle basically, this is if you want to receive any private messages on the server or not, it's just on off if you do the, the command slash msg toggle and slash craft. If you ever are missing a crafting table, it's really useful. And slash ender chest name, it's going to open the targets play ender chest. I think this one is working for me. Yeah, as you see. And then we have the command slash set up. And let's say shop, if you wanted to create shop. And let's run up here. Um, I can't remember what's the warp name, let's just do slash warp. Okay, there's a warp shop. Now I want to get the shop. And let's type warp shop. And now I teleport it to the warp shop. And if I want to delete the warp, I just do delete warp shop. And no longer we don't have the warp shop, as you can see. And slash so reply, it's going to reply the item in your hand that you are holding. I'm not going to demonstrate that currently because there's another that I'm going to demonstrate a bit more. And it's the slash repair R. It's going to repair all items in your inventory, even if you're not holding them in your hand, as you can see. Now we don't have any lost durability from the wooden shovel or the bulb. Slash sunrise. It's going to change the time to sunrise. 
I can demonstrate that, but I'm not going to demonstrate every time changing uh, time time changing comment. The next one is slash day. It's going to change time today. It's a really useful. Same as the slash sunset and slash midnight. And let's see the slash punish. It's going to make you invisible for every other player, but don't worry, you are going to see yourself. And slash test permission, it's going to paste no permission string from the uh, config files. Test permission, as you can see, there's no text or anything, but there's an empty line. And if I do slash test join, it's going to show like that. And if I do slash test leave, it's going to look like that. So let's test welcome. It's going to basically the, uh, paste the first time joining message, but I don't have any first time joining message currently on the server, so I'm not going to showcase that plugin. Uh, no, 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 not that plugin, uh, that command, I mean. And slash test mod. It's going to showcase the mod. The plugin changes the mod currently for that. Uh, you can change that yourself in the config files very easily. And slash here now clear now it clears my notary and if I do slash clear space target name it's going to place the target place in notary and if I want to be immortal I just do slash god now I cannot be killed unless somebody types slash kill space my name and if I want to be mortal again I just type slash god and I'm not immortal anymore. Uh, let's take a plug up here. This slash hat. It's going to put the item in your hand on your head slash hat. As you can see. It's a pretty fun command. Like so slash remain. We can rename the item in our hands to say something like slash rename diamond now our dirt block is a diamond and if you want to add a law we can just slash law add now the law is add you can basically add many lines of text to law i think or much more than this one word at least and slash speed speed it's going to change your flight or walking speed slash speed uh, 10 as you guys can see we are going pretty fast now and let's see, let's take a few steps back, uh, let's make it four, yeah, and report, uh, there's a report command too, slash report bomb tank, uh, for sure, basically I can report myself, but basically it works, slash report space the user you're reporting, and space the reason why you're reporting, and yeah, this plugin has a permission for every command and it's really great and it's really helpful for creating your own server it's like one of the first plugins that you might need on your server and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe like comment and share see you